Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March 7th. It's the last week after the Epiphany, and week two in the Psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verses 18 to 33, and John chapter 1, verse 29 to 34. And since we have begun the Lenten season, we'll be omitting the Alleluia from all of the services. Now join me in singing verse 5 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We'll crown your gates with thankful songs High as the heavens our voices raise And earth with her ten thousand tongues Shall fill your courts with sounding praise O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Psalm 37, and please recite it with me. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Most High. They shall be like the fat of lambs, consumed by fire, and banished like the smoke. The wicked borrows and does not repay. But the righteous show mercy and give. For such as be blessed by God shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed by God shall be cut off. And God guards the steps of the good and delights in their way. If they stumble, they shall not fall, for the Most High holds them by the hand. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children begging bread. They are ever merciful and lend, and their children are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and live forevermore. For the Most High loves justice and forgets not the saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell there forever. The mouths of the righteous speak wisdom, and their tongues talk of justice. The law of their God is in their hearts. None of their steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay them. The Most High will not leave them undefended, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. Here ends the lesson. 
And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guard our steps, dear God, and hold us up if we should stumble. Write your law in our hearts that we may serve truth and justice and live in peace forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.